The skies are finally clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, and we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. This is 4.3 WBCK, the Bassman Sound, and I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. After a short break, mental health expert Dr. Winnicott will discuss the recent opioid epidemic that's been affecting. Time to kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. This place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Welcome back to Basswood, Sam. I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral, given how I left things. I remember spending entire summers on the banks, fishing with Nick. My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. Strange to think of basswood without its mine. I think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway. I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. A lot of people were upset when it closed, but not upset enough to fix it.
These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. Some of these species are endangered. She wrote an article about it. Hunting is another tradition I could never get behind. Just don't see the appeal. I used to love looking at basswood from up here. It helped give me perspective. Until that day. Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here. Not even me. I, uh, I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> what do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit-chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never met someone so interested in others. Even in me. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just... People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? I heard you, Anna. But no, I wasn't listening. Come on, Anna, look at this. <laughs> what is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna, you really need to see this. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Sam, what are you doing? I'm 
trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. I'm down on one knee. A ring? What else would I be doing? You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? Missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. I get the feeling it still sees some use, given how bad the coverage is up here. Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. It's been two years. Time to face the world. Time to adult. Good news, though. At least... You don't have to do it alone. Lost the signal. Some things never change. You actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. 
Can we talk? We're talking right now. It's cold. So... You left. Joan, that's not fair. You left. Look, Joan, I messed up. You said you wouldn't leave. You said... You said... I don't remember exactly, but you pinky swore. I didn't mean to lie. I just screwed up. After Anna broke up with me, I'm... I'm sorry. I wish words meant anything. I wish this didn't make it harder for you to trust me now. You could have at least called something. Especially after... You know... After my dad. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> You're always at least honest. Listen, I, uh... I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's... wrong. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please? She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is awake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other. Even if it means disappointing her again? It's your call. Okay. I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will? You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... Wanna know for sure. I get it. Thanks, Muley. I, um... I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there, too. Can't hide in your car all night. Who says I'm hiding out here? I do. See you inside.
Seems Kathy's been keeping this run in a hundred thousand miles past its prime. I hope she's not running short on money. Some of the police force stopped by. Which means, most of the police force stopped by. Might as well talk to Walter. I'll have to, sooner or later. Whoever said you can judge someone by their car never met Tara. The old bar sign reminds me of when Nick and I were still kids. One of Nick's favorite matchups might be the first game he'll miss. That smile she had when I gave it to her. She could barely get on it back then. Uh -huh. Yes, the cat food is under the sink. Yes, yes it is, Mother. Trust me. Oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel Higgs, as I live and breathe. Has it really been over two years? Regardless, I'm so glad you finally made it. It's good to see you. What kept you? A trip down memory lane. I missed the funeral, but I made it to Nick's wake. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back in town requirement. So good to see you. Even if I wish the circumstances were different. In times like these, we need the comforting touch of others. At least I do. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, no reason. If you get the chance, we should catch- we should really catch up. I'll see you inside. paper since I left. Wonder how they've been doing without me. Must have been a hard issue to write. Ugh, I'm not ready for this. Here we go. Mr. Samuel Higgs, 
big shot investigative reporter. I think you'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires. Would that mean you couldn't leave town? And you are leaving town right after this, right? Just really embracing those hick stereotypes, huh, Joel? Gentlemen. We get you good old boys another round. Mighty kind to you, Declan. You're not worth it, Higgs. Making friends already, I see. Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, shame that. You watch yourself. I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? It's supposedly the spirit of coal. Doesn't really belong here anymore. He's owned this bar for almost a decade and still can't afford another employee. Uh, not really. You just quoted him a couple of times and I thought it sounded good. That you should read Great Expectations. Walter can be overwhelming at times, but he means well. Sammy! Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh... And this thing with Nick, his car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. The infamous Sam. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of legwork on that. Oh, uh... You read it. What do you think? Of the writing? Fine. Fine. Of the reporting? <laughs> Something that needed to be done. Many medicines are a bitter brew, but you still need to take them. That's nice of you to say. Oh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh. Oh, right. Don't be a stranger, Sam. Should I have brought flowers? Do people expect me to? Nick and I spent so much money on this machine. <laughs> I can't believe this whole thing's still working.
yourself down Now you should know how Vess always had a soft spot for Nick. I think she liked his work ethic. That's what crooked pharmacists want you to protect. That amount is damaging in the long term. That's where Nick and I sat every time he dragged me out for drinks after work. He's owned this bar for almost a decade and still can't afford another employee. So, Sam, how's life been treating you? Well enough, I guess. I got a roof over my head. Can't really complain. Where'd you end up? You ran so fast after the mine closed, no one knew where you went. Just some place out of state. Kind of a fresh start. You staying in town long? Not really. Why? You think I'm going to disturb the peace or something? Huh. Wouldn't be your first time. Have a nice evening, Sam. Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. It's been too long, Kathy. <laughs> Has it? Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and Joan's never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um... Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? Your daughter thinks Nick's crash doesn't make sense. She's a little girl who lost her father. She's confused right now. Don't you go encouraging her, or worse, putting those thoughts in her head? I frankly thought you knew better. Do you think she has a point? I think you should stay away from her. You're a lot like Pac-Man, Sam. I consume everything in my path. You find every last bite. The mine closing wasn't your fault. Your investigation just hurried things up. You could probably save some lives, you know. Hi, Dad. Hi, Muley. You piece of Language. Is that a wedding ring? I didn't know you were thinking about marriage. Oh, it's just... it feels like the right thing to do. Dad, what's the point of getting married? Well, it's just one of those things people do, Bug. Here, you can play. Someone has to show you grown-ups. Video games are the realm of the young. Have you talked to Anna about this? 
that's kind of the point. I'll talk to her about it when I show her the ring. If you say so, hey, just remember I'm here, right? If you need anything. Anything but my arcade secrets. Those I'll take to the grave. Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rust up, big guy. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. Happier times. Bug was so small back then. We drove straight to the sea after work on a Friday. Hell of a weekend. Those two were a great team. He was more her best friend than a dad. Look at us. I wonder who took that picture. Samuel, guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. Okay, I'll bite. Tell me, Dennis, who did you have a standing bet with? Myself. So I guess I also won. What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And I thought he was a hack, which he was. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. Really good. I'm thinking of going back to school. Go for another master's. So you don't have a clue what to do with yourself. Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Speaking of which...
Has it really been two years since I saw her? She hasn't changed a bit. Anna? Sam! I've missed you. Why'd it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? It's not your fault. There's a lot of people that don't want me here, including myself. People around here have short tempers. <laughs> and long memories. But most of them mean well. Sam, the mine was gonna close anyways. Maybe in a year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was gonna run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. It doesn't make it easier, though. It's gotta make it a little easier. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's... Joe. He's an oak. Unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> It wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, as he used to put it. You know, Nick and I had moved in together, started to get serious. But I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. But you and Nick started going out? When did this happen? A few months ago. He... He never told you? He asked me to let him be the one to say something. You two had been so close. He probably tried. I hadn't been answering his calls. Ah. <laughs> That's the worst part, right? Anything broken just stays broken now. But this... This was all nice. The funeral, the wake. Walter did a good job. But it all just makes me feel heavy. It makes my heart hurt. Like Nick's memory has been laid on top of me and I'm still carrying him. It's hard for me to really just wrap my head around it. Nick being gone. Smart. Don't rock the boat when the person in the boat just lost a loved one. one. It's big. I can't get my head around it either. His stuff is all over my house, but he's just missing. Things without an owner. Most of it I'll probably give to Joan and Kathy, the throw away, I don't even know. Sam, I'm tired, and if I'm gonna drink and cry, I wanna do it alone. I played that stupid, stupid song like I told myself I would. He said, or he used to say, it made him ache. I did it, and I'm going home. We need to catch up, though. Let's meet for coffee tomorrow and talk. Really talk. 9.30? Yeah, maybe. I'll be at the cafe across from the paper, Christina's. It was honestly nice seeing you. Samuel, come, have a round with me. I need a drink or two, or three, and then I'll go. Walter can be overwhelming at times, but he means well.
You'd think a kid at a bar would stand out more. It does look tempting. So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, 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 join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. Now let me get your next round. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Ah, oh, spirits? Oh, no, no, friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Sat right there, with a bad dad joke or two. <laughs> with friends, I guess? Maybe Anna. Well, by himself, with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. You two were close, though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a horde. He was always good with Joan, though Kathy did the heavy lifting. Took her to school, fed her, clothed her, and Nick would pick her up, play dad for a few hours. Mostly she'd just sit in the office drawing. He'd drop her back off with her mom after dinner. Greater men have done far less by their daughters. The friend of man, the friend of truth. The friend of age and guide of youth. Few hearts like his with virtue warmed few hearts with knowledge so informed. If there's another world, he lives in bliss. If there is none, he made the best of this. Burns, that from your eulogy? You know Robert Burns? And no, just something I keep on hand for toasts. Well, it's a good choice. Sorry about that, Sam. I wasn't trying to bring you down. I'm the one dwelling on these things. Wakes get sad. Very sad. Death and drinking is a heady brew. Still, I'm showing jealousy for a dead man. Not the best look. Some would say being honest with yourself is the only way to honor friends. How's the family taking it? Joan and Kathy seem shaken. Kathy has a lot to deal with. Now more than ever. But who can prepare for losing a parent? Not a soul. Not a single soul. It always seemed so easy for him. Every day he'd show up, smile, no matter what. Of the qualities in a good man, that one deserves to be at the top. Not a quality I possess. This isn't a place for self-pity. This is a place for dour reflection. Yes, and drinking. To Nick. He was my friend. He will be missed, but not forgotten. Here, here. Put that down. Kathy, what's your underage child doing drinking? You have no control over her? Ethan can lose his glasses. I wasn't doing anything. Don't touch me. Joan. Leave me alone. Uh, you guys are all so... So stupid! You do not talk to people that way. I'm... I'm sorry, everyone. She's just so... So... That was quite heavy-handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart. I'll send her a text. Make sure she's gonna be okay.
A night. I'd say that went well. Ish. You got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. Even if the years didn't smooth their animosity as much as I hoped. Just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. It's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? Hey, I didn't... I didn't ask for you to be here. To come back. I couldn't let you miss this. You just showed up. You can't see it now, but the guilt would have eaten you alive. You're back out in the world. Feeling emotions, fitting in, that's progress. Fuck the world. Pointless talking, and more talking, and no one says what they mean. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. Just try and make sure you don't do anything stupid. No promises. Okay. What kind of monsters have a checkout at nine? What happened last night? Oh, my head. Pills plus drinking. That was not my best idea. Did I black out or what? Ugh, I can't. I can't think straight. I need some water on my face. Clear it up. God, what a headache. I feel like a small jackhammer in my left temple. I already feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt?
more careful. Breathe. Focus. right door. You need to steady yourself. You're doing good. Really good. You're almost there. Focus. Choose. Act. Deliberately. I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. The squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. There's too many questions about last night. All the obvious answers are bad, but worth knowing. Not all answers are worth knowing. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. The 
more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. Ethan and his parents. And I'm guessing that's his sister. He always thought they'd run the bar together. Whoa, what happened here last night? First, look around, figure out what happened. do this? Sorry, Nick. They might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. Ripped. Did this happen yesterday or was it always like that? These were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them? What knocked this clock off the pillar? I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass? It seems there was a fight. It could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence.
Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. What a mess. Hope this wasn't me. Flowers are ruined. Looks like they were knocked over, then stepped on. DG. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? Wouldn't surprise me. Could be the same blood that was on my shirt. Chasing and being chased by ghosts. Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Just gotta think it through. picture now. You know, the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch? <laughs> Don't talk about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was, Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. Not here. Sam. Meet me later. Sam. Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is, if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. You trashed up his bar and then broke in. Time to leave if you're leaving. You'll want to apologize. Trust me. God damn. Sam? 
You're, you're not here to rob me, right? I blacked out last night. I needed to figure out what happened, so I came in the back. You drank too much. Yeah. So you broke into my bar. Yeah. After smashing it up last night. No, that's not what happened. Actually, what happened is... Sam, get the hell out of here before I call the cops. <sighs> okay. That's fair. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? There's that coffee date with Anna. Anna might have to wait. I want to see if anyone has seen Dennis first. I don't know, I'll play it by ear. Just remember she's expecting you. She's extending the olive branch. Drop it. I still have time before meeting Anna. Might as well ask if anyone saw Dennis. Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Bassway. At least not normally. Um, any word on my dad? Did you really look into it? I haven't found anything yet, I don't think. Let me know if you find anything, please. I feel like I need something. It's just this town, you know? This place, it feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe, I can't think, I can't stand my mom. I don't like school, well, except for science. And just, when I imagine myself in the future, I just don't. I don't know. I don't see this place, or these people. I'm somewhere else. Anywhere else. I know it's stupid, just... It's not stupid. If you want, you can go anywhere in the world. Have adventures, fall in love. I mean, that's what I've been told, anyway. Gross! Okay, well, that other stuff sounds okay, though. Thanks for listening. I got grown-up stuff I gotta do. I've got kid stuff I gotta see about. So, we're both busy. It's tough seeing her like this. Seems she got older by six years and just two. I remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? 
I suppose. I grew up here. Been gone for a couple of years. I'm not staying long. Wait, you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. Somehow, I don't think the town's recent history will be included. Fine with me. Remember when this whole celebration used to be twice as big? Back when this town wasn't just a dead horse we all keep kicking. Why do we even bother with this old place? It's a lesson too late for the learning made of sand. Ah, now I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? In your hand, in your hand. Are you going? You are many things, but not doddering. Plotting, maybe. Sam, you shouldn't say such things, even if they're true. Well, I could have loved you better, didn't mean to be unkind. You know that was the last thing you Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. So, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her, because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan, losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she liked so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and... Well, far from me to criticize or anything, but these last few months, Kathy hasn't been all there, if you know what I mean. Hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She should take a few weeks off to be with Joan. I know you would never refuse. Don't you agree? I don't know if that would actually help anything, honestly. Sam. Sometimes I wonder if there's a heart beating under there. Kathy's lucky you're not her boss. Oh, but you wanted to ask something before? Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis? No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in here Sunday mornings. Like how you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. You three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing? Now, sitting in my mom's spare bedroom and decomposing into arrested development. <laughs> well, at least you're decomposing with family. You look well. I've been better. Hung over this morning. You know what's good for that? Coffee. I know, Christina. Not right now. I gotta go. Hey man, thought I knew everyone, but I don't know you. I used to be a regular a few years ago. Oh right, you're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. You could say that, yes. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here. It's nice. So quiet, there's no rush hour, I guess. Right? Sing along, sing along and tell me, don't you want to sing along here? The song's all sad. 
not very inspired. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, that's not spelled right. Not even close. We can be friends if we don't, it's gonna end. If we don't, it's gonna end right here. You seem real engrossed. Oh, I'm sorry, hun. Just balancing the books. Or trying to. You still have Basswood's best coffee? Ah, oh, honey, you know we've never had that. That's over at the police station. Bess takes her coffee very seriously. Puts mine to shame. She pays out of pocket for real high-end stuff. I'd never make the margins work. Not that my margins have been cutting it lately. Anyway, the past is the past. I just accepted a big business opportunity, which makes tidying up my books in time extra important, even if it kills me. I didn't think I'd see the day where you'd consider a franchise contract. Ha! Only the day God calls for me. Have you met Hugh Kirkland already? The new pharmacist. He's helping me with a few improvements. Angel investing. Can you believe it? I actually can't. What did he ask for in return? Oh dear, I can't believe you're so cynical at your age. People in small towns do help each other. Every now and again. That's not just something that happens on made-for-TV movies. I'll talk to you later. Good luck with your books. Glad to see Joan hasn't changed too much. Christina, always bringing positivity. <laughs> Cowboy must have lost his keys. I need to? <laughs> Different priorities, I guess. Good to see someone finally knows how to take care of a plant. It's basic, yet so many people manage to mess it up.
as I go walking this land of fire. I see dreams of oh, you. Oh, thank God. Yo, get out the way. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Asshole. That's enough. Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. Bug made that for Mother's Day years ago, and Kathy still keeps it with her. Ah, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly. <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Yeah, I got to hear all about it secondhand. Really not my finest hour. I would say not. After your barroom brawl, I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys, but you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. How do you figure? The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover, but I find in some cases, time is the best medicine. Last night was a wake-up call. I'm gonna try focusing on clean living. Everything is poison. All that matters is the dose. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I have to ask, why move here, of all places? You know, here, Basswood. A blink and you miss this town. People move out of Basswood, not in. The town I used to work in had a hundred other pharmacies in it. No, oh, you'd make sales. But you don't get to know anyone, ever. Plus, if I'm being honest, I always imagined I'd retire in a small mountain town. Samuel, I saw you talking to Walter. Can you ask him something from me? Sure thing. What is it? I knew I could count on you. I was hoping the Basswood Jungle could run a piece about me. You see, some of the older folks see me as an outsider still. Can't say I'm surprised. I'll try and remember to ask next time I talk to him. I really appreciated the chat, but I'm afraid it's time I get back to work. Do come see me again. Hey, Kathy. Sam, what can I do you for? Dennis hasn't come in today, has he? Dennis? I haven't seen him since last night. Why? You looking for trouble? Last night we got into a fight. Like a fist fight. Really? I'm oh, sorry, I missed that. You could both use the thumping. But I left early to go check on Joan. Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was real? 
That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl. Not a little Sam Higgs. Sneaking around and getting into trouble. And now all she can talk about is how you're gonna prove that she's right. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but... I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. She's my daughter. And I feel like I'm losing her. I gotta go. If the boss sees me John instead of working, I'll get an earful. No one in here was much help. Oh, Sam. You here to pick up something for your, uh, condition? I have a condition? Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so... You? It's all right, of course. I won't tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut. It's where your intestine starts to dissolve and your half-digested food starts to leak. Why not ask the pharmacist? And let him know I might have something like that? You. <laughs> he's basically a stranger. Look, have you seen Dennis? I saw him yesterday. We exchanged pleasantries. At the wake? Oh, I saw you too. Given his condition yesterday, he might have come in here. You walloped him. Why not ask the pharmacist? I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Mm, was it? Not uncommon for miners to end up in those once they get black lungs. Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. Fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you had to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. Huh. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but... Loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understanding, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. They go and do things like deface the whole town, and I'm the asshole? It can get under your skin. Where's, where's you at day after day? It grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Yeah, sorry about that. I went off for a spell. <laughs> Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. Trust me, I know. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. It's not worth it. No one works on a Sunday. Well, no one except me.
No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. Jump how you been? What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. Heard you showed up yesterday. Boys give you trouble? <laughs> they might have given me a bit of a welcome back. After the mine closed, well. It ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. Yeah, cripple takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but... I like to come out, see the decorations. Pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining down before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh... You probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I could just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. I have places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Glad you came. Of course. I said I would. I can still be glad about it. So, uh, I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? I was so wasted at that point, it's all just a big, heavy blur. Yeah. After saying I didn't want to drink, I went home and drank. Long night. Yeah. Sounds about right. We all deal with stress in our own ways. I apparently hit Dennis. Yes, yeah, speaking of, you haven't seen him today, have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up? <laughs> so, what are you working on? 
I'm working on an article on how nature does its best to reclaim the land after a strip mining operation. Why are you looking for Dennis? I can tell something has you spooked. I can always tell. Go on. Tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down. Or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes. Or she might be someone who you can trust. Who can help. I just want to apologize to him for what happened yesterday. He's probably working at the Basswood Jungle. He's there most weekends. Thank you. I'll check that out. We we're not gonna have coffee? Okay. Bye then. At least the basswood jungle is still standing. Locked. I should check the back. My, my, my. Look what we got here. Showing your face in town again. I thought you were smarter than that. But I'm glad we ran into you. We have unfinished business after all. Joel, look. After <clears throat> all, I don't want to have this conversation again. We clear? Nice sucker punch. <clears throat> Got some bite. Well now, seems you want it beaten. I can oblige. De Declan's right down the street. This is a small town. There's not enough room for you in it. been a while. This place used to be my home, or at least felt like it. Where is Dennis? He should be in here. Dennis! Dennis. What happened? Who... Is that how I got blood on me? Did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
do this, Sam. When you focus, you can think through any problem. his office. There must be some clues around. together. You can solve this. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. There's nothing useful in those drawers. Dennis had his gun on him. The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. gun is gone. He had it earlier. Where did it go? Trying to figure out the shooter's face is a waste of time. His gun is gone. He had it earlier. Where did it go? The shooter used Dennis's gun, but I didn't... Sam, stop it! Come back to reality! But I... I... You didn't do anything! Dennis was already dead when you arrived, can't you see? Dennis was shot, and you don't even own a gun! How could you have done it? All you did was move his body, which is how your shirt got stained. Think about it, Sam. Calm down and think! You're right. I can see it. I have the complete picture now. Thank you. 
blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start. Emails between Nick and Dee. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. Nick's computer is missing. Took it home to work, or stolen. The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. If I had the code, I could get in here. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. Valid question. Still not sure. Nick's handwriting. Always paranoid about forgetting things. the code I could get in here. Nope. And with something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. I should keep looking. It was a good guess, just not the right one. I should keep looking.
and with something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. I should keep looking. Walter always treated us like family. something around here that hints at Walter's password. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. There might be something around here that hints at Walter's password. was never tech savvy he just uses words that mean something to him there's a good chance there's a clue in his office so strange how calm it is out there when well this happened He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. Wouldn't be surprised if that was his password. That was just after Anna came on, and we really were a small clan. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. Just reminders. Nothing that could be used as a password. Photo Walter took of his first desk on his first day of work. Nick inherited it. Secrets you got in here, Walter. Mostly standard so far, by the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on, and he always kept his window open. It's very uncommon in most crashes. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him. And his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. I think it's time I check Nick's office. Hope he still leaves his notes out. If I 
had the code, I could get in here. Good guess, just not the right one. I should keep looking. Nope. And with something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. I should keep looking. Something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. I should keep looking. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. Valid question. Still not sure. Nick's handwriting. Always paranoid about forgetting things. Four digits. Wonder if that's the new code for the archives. Thanks, <laughs> bug. Your obsessive snooping pays off. Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. But what was he looking for? Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Basswood isn't the safe, sleepy town it once was. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right, 
Sam? What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. What happened? Is he... Anna, I is listen he... to me. Anna, I did not kill Dennis. Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the person that actually showed up killed him. Person? Sam, you were clearly hiding something when we talked at the cafe. Was it this? Anna, I didn't kill Dennis, I promise. Of course, I know that. It's the only reason I'm not running for my life, but... Why haven't you said anything? At least to me. I wish you trusted me. This... It won't look good. We need to call the police. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did at first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing to do. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is gonna find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. You already decided not to trust Anna about the shirt back at Christina's. If you don't listen to her now, what will she think of you? Okay, but not that phone. Use one of the landlines here and don't leave your name. You remember I'm a journalist, right? I know how to keep things confidential. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. Sam, I'm not... I'm not sure this is a good idea, going on your own like that. I'd like you to come with me. Whatever I find, I don't want to face it alone. Okay. You didn't trust me with all this at the cafe, but I am trusting you. Let me call the police from a landline real quick before we go. like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. Is it okay if I stay here? I don't think I'm ready to... Sure. I doubt I'll be good company anyway. You mean you're over-focused to the point of non-reactive thing? I remember. Especially how you always end up being right somehow. I hope... I don't know what I'm hoping for. Yeah, me neither. This is the place. get to the bottom of this. First, gather the clues. Cold, hard, plain facts. That's the only way I'll know what really happened.
debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense, judging the damages to the area. Bark got badly burnt. Must be where Nick crashed. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. No skid marks, no trace of sudden braking. The fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. Two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. These road signs are intact. Not a scratch on them. Fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road. An animal came through here. Maybe that's what surprised Nick. But the tracks don't reach the road.
best to leave her alone. It's a lot to take in. Fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it leaking fuel? Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him. That's all the information I need. Time to put everything together. Report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. He was startled by an animal. And drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. don't add up.
the road signs were damaged, two of them torn and burnt. The fire damaged both the car and the tree heavily. Nick's car did burn. I know that. Only one simulation fits the evidence. The police report was wrong. I thought you quit. I did. So, did you find anything? Nick, he was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... Joe, it's Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. What? Are you alright? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Someone broke into your house.